Hello guys and welcome to this new machine learning tutorial. In today's video we are going to talk about overfitting and underfitting which are two major problems that you can face during your model evaluation. In a data science project we have a data set that we have to work with. This data set can be split into two categories training or test or even more into three categories by splitting it into training validation and test sets. Training set is the higher percentage of the data set which is used to train the machine learning model to set the required parameters. Depending on the size of the data set, it can be from 60 to 90% of all your data. Validation set is a smaller percentage of the data set used to evaluate the model. This data is not seen by the model and it is used generally to evaluate our model for preventing overfitting and underfitting. The test set is also a smaller percentage of data comparing to the training set used to test the model. Also, this data is not seen by the model. This second splitting category of data is generally used when working with Kaggle competitions. For example, in Kaggle, they will offer you two sets. You have the train and you have the test. So the train can split it into training and validation to evaluate your model before applying it to the test set which provide you to the results that you are going to submit to Kaggle competition. The machine learning model is a kind of a mapping between the features and the labels where we train a portion of the data set and after that we compare the actual value in the validation set with the predicted value calculated using the machine learning model and we calculate the error that we will call validation error. We also calculate the training set error that we are going to call the training error. Comparing these two kinds of errors will help us to identify if we do have an underfitting, an overfitting or if our model has a good fit. So the question is how to know if we have underfitting or overfitting. So to answer that there are two things that we have to understand. The first one is what is bias. The bias occurs when the model gives more importance to some features more than others which means that the model will generalize more on all the data set based on these few features. As a consequence, the model learns the wrong things in the data set, which causes a higher error between the predicted value and the actual value. This is known as underfitting. The second thing is variance. Variance is defined as measure that provides the amount of change that the model can have to adjust to new data. If we do have a high variance, we are talking about overfitting. So as you can see here in this image, if we have a high bias, which means that we have a high error between the estimated value and the actual value, so we talk about underfitting in the left. In the right, we have a high variance, which means that we do have overfitting. And the middle, we have low bias and low variance, so we have generalization that is in the middle. It is not too high or it is not too low which results in a good fit of our model. So what is overfitting? Overfitting happens when a model performs well on the training data, but does not perform well on the validation data because the model is trained very well, thus it loses generalization. The model learns the details and starts to think of noise to be a pattern. So as we have said, we have a high error in the validation set and we have a smaller error in the training set. When we have overfitting, we basically have low bias and high variance, which means that we have a low error on the training data and the high error on the validation data. The algorithms that are more likely to overfit are the non-parametric and non-linear models. As an example, we have decision trees and we have neural networks. What is underfitting? Underfitting happens when the model is not trained well, thus it performs poorly on both the training data and the validation data. So we have a high error on both the validation set and the training set, which means that we have a high bias, low variance, and as we have said, we have a high error on both training and validation data. The algorithms that are more likely to underfit are the parametric models like linear regression and lasso regression. We have another term that we have to understand, which is bias variance trade-off. It is kind of a balance between bias and variance which means that increasing 
bias results in decreasing variance and decreasing bias results in increasing variance. This technique provides the optimal point that gives the minimum error. This error is calculated based on the bias and the variance. So this is all for this video. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.